I'll put it in the description. We are live. We are. The guy. The BS guy. with the guy. We need music. We live. Need a theme. No, we don't. I need a theme song. Do you? I do. Definitely. It'd be really cheesy. So what's going on? You put us, um, who did you put us on? Um, what? Jay Cutler and Ronnie Coleman. Yeah. That's for the thumbnail? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. We look exactly like that. Yeah. Just like that. Yeah. It's oh, amazing. yeah. Ronnie Coleman, he's not in very good shape anymore. You know? He's doing good business-wise. Business-wise, He has yeah, a brand called Yeah, Buddy. <laughs> he can't hardly walk. Yeah. Poor guy. He's funny. I, I always wondered how he could have... He was a cop, you know, that whole time. Right. And it's kind of bizarre to think about, I mean, obviously, the things he was doing and being a cop kind of were contradictory. <laughs> but somehow he pulled it off, I guess, which more power to him, I guess. Yeah. <clears throat> I am doing technical work. Technical work. I'll just talk to the listeners here. Charles Bronson's here, of course. Says, got the bike registered and insured for the season. Cool. What kind of bike do you have? Just curious. I had another notebook on here. I don't know what happened to that one. So... Not, not letting me edit things. Won't let you do it. I'm gonna throw something through a god dang wall. Oh yeah. Gary Coleman. Gary Coleman. <sighs> yeah, Gary Coleman. He was funny in that one show. Oh, I don't know who it is. Uh, what was that show? Different Strokes. He was the little guy. No, oh, gotcha. He was funny. So good to have him with us. I believe <laughs> in real life though he he may have passed away. I'm not sure. So, oh. Um, there's a new, uh, Transformers movie coming out. Do you remember when you were a kid? No, um, what? I don't. Let's talk about that. Let's talk about <sighs> you as a kid and Transformers. Okay. The member of the little collector, um, guys. Oh yeah. The ones that you could oh, like my God. mess with and you and drove stuff. us nuts with those things because, no, uh, not. you take them out of the package. They were all cool looking like a robot it out, you know? Yeah. yeah. And you, you could actually turn these things into little cars from the Transformer version. Right. But they were really difficult for kids. And I think they were made for older kids. And you were into these things when you were like four. So it was all day long. You bringing <laughs> these things up to us. Hey, can you fix this? Can you fix this? And of course, they were even kind of difficult for me to actually fold around sometimes <laughs> and get them. And then I would get it. I would I would spend a few minutes in, in transforming this thing. Yeah. From a robot to a car or vice versa. And then, of course, I, I did it. I got it. I'm getting frustrated, too, doing this. <laughs> Hand it to you, and then you just transformed it back to the other thing <laughs> immediately. And then you're back, hey, can you do this? So I actually got pretty good at doing those. But then... You figure one out, and you get a couple more, and it just went on and on, and it was just like... Oh, yeah, I remember God. I loved those things. I hated those things. Well, they were just They terrible. were awesome. Oh, my God. They were Transformers. great. Transformers. But the new movie has is more like um, just an animated movie, I guess. Oh, well, then... Like an stupid. origin story or something, more like the cartoons, but, of course, better. You know, better graphics and everything, but... Yeah. Chris Helmsworth is going to be Optimus Prime, I believe. Oh, so, my gosh. Yeah. That's so it, dumb. I mean, whatever. They can make money on doing whatever they do. So, yeah. So, that was uh, something that I saw today. It was kind of, it was actually trending on, on um, X. Oh, really? That's how I saw it. I just glanced at the trending things. I don't know why. I get on there. That's some pretty crazy stuff on that. Yeah, you're always talking about how weird. Well, weird. I'm not on there enough to get my algorithm fixed so i all this death stuff comes up and everything i don't like it's like i don't want to see someone get hit by a train every time i get on there <laughs> but every time like, it seems like that's what works out or something horrible i don't know it's just i try to stay off of it i should go on there and try to like stuff more and then i could get that fixed so that stuff wouldn't come up i i think is how it would work adds character i don't know i don't want to see it but yeah yeah uh, speaking of the X, I was on there the other day, and um, I saw the thing about China and India actually on their border there. And I thought this was recent news because I don't keep up with news a whole lot like right. I should probably. But India and China, they had like a little skirmish on the border. Apparently it was in 2022. But I think the reason that it was kind of making news is because things are heating up along their border again. Mm -hmm. But they actually, they didn't want to declare war all-out war, even though the military had moved in close. So they ended up actually just fighting with sticks and clubs and, like, 
medieval, like it looked like Braveheart or something. The video <laughs> I watched there. Um, yeah, they there was like a fence in between on this border where they had the fight at, at first, and of course they're just leaning over the fence, beating each other and stuff, and the, the pressure and the weight from everyone pushing the br- the fence breaks, and then it's just like a big rush, you know, and people That's are just crazy. going crazy savagery. And, you know, it made me think of like Canada. Say we went had some kind of deal with Canada. Well, you're not going to maybe necessarily know who's who. Oh yeah, something like that. Mm-hmm. But I was thinking that because you got Indians on one side, you know, and they yeah. they look a certain way. White people look a certain, you know. Yeah, yeah. And, and the Chinese look a certain way. So I guess one handy thing about that kind of a border war <laughs> is you're going to know who to swing a stick at. <laughs> As opposed to us, like, going up against Canada. Unless they said, oh, we're sorry. <laughs> yeah. We would never Unless know. Unless they start apologizing to us. So like, oh, sorry, who you're, You know, but there it was a clear line of who you're going to be trying to whack over the head. So <laughs> that's something. But the reason I think it came up is because they said tensions along that border. And you don't even think about that. I mean, I don't know. No, I never would have thought. Like, I don't think of India as, like, a. Right, right. They want to fight anybody. I mean, they actually share the uh, the border there. They share 2,100 miles yeah. on their border. I didn't realize it, it was that, you know, big of an area. But so it was pretty. It was a pretty violent thing when it happened there, though. I mean, yeah, 20 uh, Indians died, and then uh, four Chinese people. Well, that's died, horrible. So. If people were and the dying, injuries and everything, just you know, at but, all. Yeah, but I never at the time never even heard of that. Yeah. Well, think of all the things you don't know about oh, that yeah. are happening. There's right. a lot of it. Yeah. So. Dubai, look at that. Dubai, stuff. well, everyone crazy. knows about that. The, I, everyone, probably well, the majority not everyone. of people. It is viral on social media. But that was kind of a weird thing. I mean, it's still going on. It still is a weird thing. Yeah, it looked like um, you know the end of the world over there. People yeah. are riding their jet skis down the middle. The rich of the city. people yeah. are like, I'm gonna take my jet ski out. I don't care. Bugattis are floating down the street and stuff. <laughs> They're like, I get another one tomorrow. You know, it's no big They're deal. So I go buy a Bugatti. There, you know? That'd be like our Camry floating away. Yeah. Like, well, darn it. <laughs> but so that's weird to think about that and yeah supposedly i mean the conspiracy thing, oh the uh cloud, cloud seeding. seeding was what they're saying some and of course they haven't confirmed that anymore, right they never will i know there was just an article about them that they actually do cloud seed over they there. do yeah so maybe they just real. got a little too many seeds up there or something yeah they uh, planted too many <laughs> the crop came in a little stronger <laughs> than they thought now we're all flooded out yeah but they, they have, like, shopping centers and stuff that go um, underground, like, a long ways. Mm-hmm. And all those, of course, you know, million-dollar things are just done, gone. Yeah, I just, I think about all the cars that are there, and I'm like, oh. Yeah. Oh. yeah. Makes they me sad. Show, I watched a video of a guy in his car, and um, I don't know, it was a Mercedes or something. It was, like, an SUV, and he was, okay. it was all flooded out. He was, like, up to here in the car. And he was on a cell phone calling into work. He's like, I'm not to make it in today. Oh, I you saw the video. That? It was yeah, a Range yeah. Rover. Range Rover. Okay, yeah. Yeah. He's like, I'm not going to be there. I'm flood. <laughs> you know? well, yeah. The boss probably knows what's going on, so I don't even think he would have had to make that call. But Yeah. The boss is like, <laughs> where is Jeremy? This is ridiculous. You don't take Jeske? That's a, that's a desert. So, I mean... That's kind of an oddball thing to really happen over there. Well, don't and worry I, about it. When I was seeing, too, you know, everybody's uh, talking about the greenhouse gases and how they're actually bad and everything. No, they're not. They help things. Because now, uh-huh. like, parts of the desert, like over in Afghanistan, are growing, in. are growing, turning green because of this. So I think that's kind of been misleading. I think we actually want more. Because of this? No. Not because of us. We ain't doing it. That's what I mean. It's Earth but they're cycles. saying that we're doing it. Yeah. You know, I think that... Uh, the volcanoes and all that stuff. Earth actually cycles. Help, they yeah. help that, you know, to yeah. happen. So, yeah. Personally, I don't know. And then over here, of course, there was a big uh, 911 outage. People, if they had an emergency, they couldn't even, it was completely out. Well, that's and just great. In like three states uh, Nebraska, South Dakota, and uh, Nevada. So, like, was a big thing, of course, in Las Vegas. I mean, oh, yeah. people call, you know, it's crazy out there. So people, there was no 911. And somehow they said that uh, people were still able, they were able to see the calls. They just couldn't answer them. So they 
routed another line and most of them they were able to call back on different lines Mm. because the traces that automatically traces your number right they just couldn't respond on that system they had to call them back on something else that's crazy i don't know if it ended up being a serious thing or not i mean i never heard about it Right. It wasn't too serious. I hear it about everything important. It was yesterday, I believe, or you hear about everything. Everything so important. What important have you heard of that? Nothing. Nothing's, <laughs> Nothing's important. going on right no. now. No. Yeah. I've seen Corvettes, and that's important. That is important. I need a Corvette. I'm going to have a Corvette. I sent you that video, that new E-Ray one. Oh, yeah. yeah that was E-Ray's great. awesome. That's nice. Yeah, it is. Yeah. I'll just so. take, I'll take a C8 Stingray. This summer, C8 Stingray. Oh, yeah. I'm going to have one. Okay. And then I'm going to come back and I'm going to get this little clip from this live and be like, look. You said you. it. Now what yeah. if you don't? Then what? I will. It's There's... like, remember we said when we got a million followers on a certain platform, we'd get uh, tattoos. We're not at a million yet. Not, at, not yet, but no. we got to remember that. So Yeah. Um, well, it's, it's uh, taken too long, so they better know, get on it. We were talking about storms over there in Dubai. It's actually uh, thundering and supposed to storm here and possible, like, Really big hail. So, no. of course, you know when it uh, thunders at all, we have dogs. No, or, yeah. We have one dog that just goes ballistic if she hears thunder. She and don't like. Thunder. She's actually taught herself now to climb fences. So yeah. she's only about this big, you know, foot and a half long, tiny dog. Yeah. But she climbs a five foot fence just right up it like Spider Man. <laughs> so now I've had to put Spider fencing dog. across the top so she comes up and she can't go out and over, but. I wonder it's ridiculous. She'll, like she falls on her ass from up there. Oh yeah, I've seen her do that. Yeah. No, she doesn't make it the first time. Always, so she just <laughs> falls back and then, <laughs> yeah. But she gets probably right does back that little dog. <laughs> probably yeah. <laughs> like when Rambo lays down, he's frustrated. He gives that big sigh. You know. Yeah. Yeah, we actually have uh, five dogs. So five dogs. I don't know why though. I just sometimes it's nice, but then you think, why do I even have any pets? They just tie you down. I mean, we, yeah. We go to go on a vacation or something. We got to worry about boarding them or someone taking care of them. It's just more of a nuisance, really, than anything else. Like, right. I mean, cats. You could just throw some food out on the floor and <laughs> leave the toilet seat up, and they're good for you know a couple months. But <laughs> dogs. Months. I mean, yeah. they're more needy, and the cats are independent, and they'll be fine. But yeah. Some people have like down here. I don't know. We looked it up one time. All the strange oh raccoons, pets you can have deer, down here. possums, possums. Uh, we went to the school. We first moved down here, and we went to your parent teacher conference. Yeah, we're walking the halls. I'm like, what? What is that? And I look over, and a little girl had a monkey in a baby blanket, like a little baby. Yeah, in a diaper. Yeah, in the school. And the first time I ever heard a teacher say, "Hey." Whatever this girl's name was, you can't be bringing your monkey to school. <laughs> so, you know. Yeah, that was I a, don't know a could, different thing. Uh, yeah, you yeah. don't expect to hear that in the middle of Arkansas. Right. No monkeys in school. Right. God damn it. And I know you can have like mountain lions here as pets. You can have a mo- mountain lion? I think so. I need yeah. one. Somebody, what about a wolf? I Well, that one guy. Oh, yeah, there's a guy pretty Yellow close to us. A wolf. Yeah. yeah, we see him out walking that. That's odd. I mean, yeah. <laughs> I don't trust our dog after that. I'm going to trust a wolf. But, yeah, uh, I've heard that the thing with wolves is if you have cats. one, is it can't leave your side. Because yeah. wolves are such pack animals, mm-hmm. once it's with you, it's with you. You're like the you, alpha. Yeah, you go to the store, it ha- it's, it's coming with you. Hmm, they might not it's like that. It's a service dog there. now. A <laughs> service dog? I guess. That's my service wolf. <laughs> that would be cool, though. It'd be badass. The guy that's need a walking lion. the wolf, though, really doesn't look like that cool of a guy. So. What if he imagine, watches our stuff? Yeah, but imagine <laughs> if he's real, if someone really cool has a wolf, that kind of would accentuate that, I guess. You don't know what that guy went through. He might be really cool. He might be a bad We should ass. have him on the show sometime. We should. And the wolf. And the wolf. <laughs> yeah. That'd be terrifying. He's be, sitting here. Because he might not like us. I mean, you know. Oh, he's sitting there and he's doing the interview and this wolf's just sitting there beside him. Giving me intimidating looks. That'd be awesome. Yeah. If it's me instead of you. Yeah. Obviously. I don't know how many of our listeners have pets or what they have. Uh, strange stuff. People reading the comments here. Charles says that uh, India and China have rock fights still to this day. That's interesting. Just throwing rocks. Because if they, <laughs> if they fire a gun or any it's kind like of weapons, decla- then it's a de- right. Before, so yeah. they don't want to go that far. So rocks don't right. count. So apparently that's okay. <laughs> 
They we throw rocks at each other. Shark fishing on the main highway there in Dubai. That's crazy. <laughs> That's funny. The money over there is just insane. The money? It's how much oh, yeah. they just, I mean, poor people over there are probably, you know, better than uh, most of the people here. Oh, Maybe yeah. Guys, oh, I mean. yeah. Well, I remember I was looking into going to Dubai a little bit. And you can go get a nice hotel. Like, for a hotel here that is over there, what it looks like, if it was here, hmm. it'd probably be $600 a night. There, it's like 90 Really? I was like, what? How is our money conversion to theirs? I mean, that was in U.S. dollars. Yeah. I don't know what they even use over there, honestly. I know, like, South Africa. Um, the way it was explained to me is that people over there, they're fine with their currency there. So if they go in a store or something, it's just like here. They buy the stuff they need, whatever. Right. But if they try to leave the country and travel... Their money becomes basically worthless. So people over there have a hard time traveling, doing anything outside of the country. So that means, like, if Americans or other places, if they vacation there, you take a couple grand over there, you're, like, rich compared to... Because our money is worth so much more over there. Yeah. So that's kind of weird to think about, but... Yeah. I don't know. We might have an offer to go there, I mean, eventually, so... South Africa? Yeah. Yeah, we never know. Someone's been talking to us about it, so... Need to get my passport. Me too. Mine could be a problem. Yeah. Yeah. So, I'm not going to say why. We'll just let people wonder. (laughs) No, it's not that big a deal. Uh, Yeah. Dubai is a lot like Arkansas. Yeah. Oh, yeah. What do you mean? What does he mean? It's a lot like Arkansas. (laughs) It's exactly like that. I mean, every time we go out, we see Bugattis everywhere. Yeah, they're everywhere. It's crazy. Arabs, you know, there's oil drills here everywhere. (laughs) Skyscrapers, like just insane. I think I I saw the Burj Khalifa last week here. Right. So just like Arkansas. Yep, he's right about that. Yeah, that's for sure. David M says he's a bit tipsy. Yeah. I'm working on that myself. (laughs) Oh, a 2017 Harley Davidson Heritage Soft Tail Custom. Cool. Where's the guy get his sunglasses? Uh, sunglasses store. No, most of the ones I wear are Oakley, so I just get them. Uh, um, I've gotten a couple pairs at Bass Pro. Of course, we have um, the original Bass Pro in Springfield, Missouri, which oh, is yeah, the fairly original. close to us, yeah. so they have a large selection. Um also, uh, I got one pair at, uh, we have a sport, sporting goods store here called Dunham's. Oh, Dunham's, yeah. It's a really cool yep. store, actually. Oh, yeah. I got a pair there, but just uh, most of them I got at Bass Pro, I think. So, I got a card, so I get points, you know. Oh, yeah. So, a lot of those, are, you know, I just walk in there and use points on them, whatever. But, so anyways, what's going on in your world? What's going on in my world? How was your MMA yesterday? It was good. Well, I didn't have it yesterday. Tuesday. Tuesday. Yeah, yeah. Tuesday. Good. It was good. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Had someone shoulder me right into the right in the elbow. Yeah. Really hard, like full force, all body weight, 180 some pounds. That hurts. Yeah, I didn't feel the best, but other than that, you know. I've been watching more of uh, Mike Tyson training, man. I would, <laughs> I don't know. Well, I've heard supposedly from a UFC fighter that that's all old footage, and he's actually really? not like that right now. Hmm. It's actually old footage that they're trying to propagate right now. Supposedly he's all he's out of shape. He's posting it on his TikTok and everything daily. Yeah, supposedly that's all old. Really? Old, according to this UFC fighter named Colby Co- Covington, Covington, mm-hmm. something like that. But according to him, he was just with Mike Tyson like a week ago, or two weeks ago. He said, and he's nothing like that. But even with the picture of him um, and what's the guy's name? I don't even know. Paul. Paul. He still looked pretty good shape in that. And that yeah. was like a live picture just, you know, before this started. So right. I think he's I think he's good. Hopefully. We'll see. <clears throat> that Colby guy thinks that he's going to just demolish him, though. Really? Paul is going to demolish Tyson. Well, really? Because of the age difference and stuff. He said yeah. he's just praying that Tyson doesn't get hurt too bad. <laughs> Whatever. But maybe this Colby guy just put a bet on... Could well, be, yeah. He has a million dollars vested in him mm, or yeah. something like that. So Charles says to research the uh, Dubai junkyards in the desert. Yep. They have Bentleys, Rolls, Lambos. It's crazy. Yeah, they have a whole... It's weird the way that they are, their payments work, too. You can get approved for any car. Anything. Really? Well, 
There you might be limitations with like Bugatti and stuff, but like Lambo, that tier. You can go get approved for it really easily. Hmm. But if you miss a payment, they take the car back. If you miss one payment, they take the car back and you go to jail. <laughs> so it's like you can have it, but you better be able to afford it. Supposedly there was something about the um there was a couple of content creators that were over there. A few weeks ago, I seen this part was real for sure, but they were uh, trying to make a video or something on the streets, and they were actually arrested because they didn't have the proper uh, permits to do that. Yeah. Then I heard, and I don't know about this part, I heard that they were in an underground jail when everything flooded, and they supposedly drowned. Nobody's Nobody knows what's going on there, but I don't know if that part's true or not. But Yeah, who knows? Are we into the slap competition that Dana White owns? I haven't watched. I've I just I basically see snippets of snippets it sometimes. like on Instagram or something. When man. Dana posts them, <laughs> it's just whack. Oh, man, it's, it's crazy. Like, they are out. Yeah, um, he's uh, I uh, listened on the radio on Octane um, a couple weeks ago. Um, Zoltan, that's his. Oh yeah. From uh, Five Finger Death Punch is actually really good at grappling and jujitsu and everything. He's been doing it since he was like seven. And he's um, starting a league. He's already started the league, but it's a grapplers league. And they actually, um, it's kind of similar to the UFC. They ha- they get payments. You know, you can actually, because he set up until now, there hasn't, for grapplers, there hasn't been much money into it. Mm-mm. So nobody wants to really do it. Right. Because what are they going to get? I mean, it's risk versus reward type of thing, you know? Yeah. And um, supposedly he's going to work with Dana White to set up a league of that also. So. Yeah. And that will just be like wrestling or jiu-jitsu? Or Grappling mostly. Like, no striking. Uh, no striking. No just striking. All, so yeah. everything but strikes. I think so, yeah. So kickboxing guy, in reverse. If you don't know who he is, even if you don't like Five Finger Death Punch or that kind of genre of music, he's actually a pretty interesting guy. He came over here from, I think, like uh, Turkey or something. And he, he has permits to... All kinds of crazy weapons. I mean, he literally carries a full-size bazooka in his trunk of his Lambo. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> so if you ever look him up on some on here, YouTube, look up, you know, Zoltan from Five Figure. He's pretty interesting. There's all kinds of videos of him doing crazy stuff. And he's got a cool accent and everything. But So he's starting that league, and supposedly Dana White and him have been talking about hmm. um, doing a partnership. And he's not going to give it up because he's like the full owner of it right now. But he's getting involved with Dana White and stuff with that. So That's cool. It was a really Dana interesting. Dana will make it go uh, big for sure. It was an interesting uh, interview. I have I listen to Octane a lot on Sirius XM, and there's a one of the DJs on there is actually from another channel, but he's on Octane sometimes, and Jose Mangan, and that guy gets on my nerves. But this interview was really actually good. I I made it through it just because I wanted to hear him. <laughs> but see, I should make a clip of that you saying that, and we should tag Jose Mangan. We can do that. Yeah, I don't care. <laughs> what if he's, he's been, like? Hey, he's man. been going to the gym and stuff lately, Has and he? bragging how good a shape he is and stuff. Is I he getting in decent? Sh- <laughs> <laughs> That'd be fun. Is he getting in decent shape? So, like yeah. respectful. No, he yeah. is. Yeah. He, yeah. I don't really. He his voice and just his blah, blah, his, kind of thing gets, his energy he's too much irritates you. Yeah. Gets on my nerves. He's probably really. He seems like he's probably a nice guy. Yeah. Uh, I know I have more followers than him on Instagram. So I'm <laughs> happy about that. But when I hit, it was funny because watching like when we started this and our follower account was low. And then watching people like, wow, they got this many. That's crazy. Yeah. And then we, we went by them. Skyrocket. And then I'll look up them. people like, you know, like um, another Octane um, DJ is Shannon Guns. Mm-hmm. I mean, and she's married to, um, what's his face, from Mudvayne. Um, I don't remember his name. I'm, I'm drawing a blank now. Uh, Chad Ness or something. But anyways, um, so you'd think, well, you know, she's married to a rock star. She's serious XM DJ. She's been on Instagram forever. Yeah. And then I looked at her follower. I'm like, damn, I got more followers than she does. And her <laughs> husband. I got more than him. Yeah. So that's pretty weird because they've been doing this for 10 years. Or yeah. Or whatever Instagram. They're just famous in a different way. Right. But it's still fun it is, to pass It is. It's funny because people, Instagram you know? is like, in today's world, Instagram is like a, a symbol of like, Oh, you have that many followers? Right. Oh my gosh. And it, it's like, yeah, and then and to have really, more followers than them is it, it's strange, yeah. It is because you see these people like um 
uh, David Draymond from Disturbed. Now, the band Disturbed has a ton of followers, of course, millions and millions. Mm -hmm. But David Draymond as a person, it was... I looked him up one day when we were smaller. I'm like, hey, man, he, that's a lot of followers. But then it's like, hey, David Draymond, see you down there? <laughs> that's kind of weird that that... Yeah. I mean, I'm just on here. I mean, this guy's traveling everywhere in the world, singing and making, putting awesome music out and stuff. And yeah. then to have more followers than he does is like weird and yeah like, you know, i'm telling dad jokes and stuff yeah little stupid skids and, <laughs> and then we go past them and that's just crazy to think about but. yeah it makes you wonder who else we're gonna pass in the future yeah it's I, like who knows like it and the plateaus on all the platforms are so weird because oh we just went through a really bad plateau on most of the platforms yeah, luckily it's looking it's like we're coming, coming out, out of it some of them, some of them so, yeah you, know, you actually you start to go backwards sometimes. You yeah. Know, what? I'm doing the same thing. It's just the algorithm's not picking you up. Or We're working on getting better um, and better now, though, and learning some more things Yeah, it's, it's to improve. Weird, uh, it's a weird environment, I guess you could say, because you, you feel like you are in control, but then you just you, you feel like you're at their mercy, whatever, whatever they decide, the platform gods. You know, that's, that's how you're going to perform, I mean, because they can really affect that. Nah, I think that we just need to be getting better. We are. Apparently not good enough. I don't know. I don't I, I, so. The way I see it is every time we hit a plateau or a low point, we always get more creative. Try so something new. We Yeah, we learn some new things. We try you're working some new on things. some big projects right now that we won't talk about. but no, We can talk about them. Big stuff with yeah, AI stuff. Yeah, I'm working on learning AI and learning editing more. and That is the future, whether we like it or not. AI yeah. is just crazy insane. Yeah, it's, yeah. I watched a video of like an old 20s movie, this guy going through a dance routine, whatever, and they took someone from a more present-day scene, I won't say who it was, but and they put them, they, they put them in the same, it was like they were doing that. Yeah. And there was all the background people were the same. The scenery was the same. And you would have sworn that that guy was in the original movie. Mm -hmm. But, you know, yeah. the movie was from the 20s. It's just crazy what they can do. And the, even like on, um, there's a site that I, that came up the other day. It's like a little white poodle. <laughs> oh, on I had to ask you about it. Yeah. He's wearing clothes and stuff. And they got him. I'm like, man, I that looks so real. I don't know if anybody's seen that or whatever, but. They got him kind yeah. of just standing around in clothes and stuff in different poses. I'm like, how'd they do that? But it's just fake. It's AI. Not even real. Yep. And you can't hardly tell. I mean. Uh, well, this is just the beginning, too. I, you know, I know, six months, a year, five years, ten years. Yeah. We probably won't be doing this. Oh, well. It won't be us. Yeah. <laughs> We're just programming in. We can just kick back. Some People are already else. doing that. Yeah. People are already doing it to the point where they're just, they're putting in what they want character to do and they're making their talking head ai version just make the video for them and then that's just that's their video and so imagine you don't have to sit there and you don't have to you don't have to come up with this well, i mean i guess you do have to come up with a script but then you have chat gpt you can help write the script you can help write the script with chat gpt you can perfect it you can put it in there's there's right. thousands of ai's too too it's not just chat gpt there's so many different well, ai's uh, x has one now grok well, yeah but yeah. there's i mean just even that like i was just playing around with one the other night and right one you'd never even hear of mm. i just noticed something and that the laptop is actually going to die it is. What's well, that? Ninety-eight percent. Never mind. I'm not oh. crazy. Oh, it's at eight percent. Eight. So you entertain the folks. I'm gonna go grab the charger because I guess entertain I forgot the it. folks. I'll just read comments and stuff okay. and see what's going on. I'll be right on. back. Put my glasses on so I can see better. So fortunately, I don't have. Uh, I can't get new eyes yet. That'll probably be a thing in the future. Uh, let's see. <clears throat> Mike South, uh, never seen a live of you guys. Hello from New Hampshire. Well, thanks for joining in. We just kind of shoot the breeze, I guess you'd say. Shoot and, shit. Yeah, we're not supposed to say that. Right? I don't care. Uh, Jackal in I Rock with T Tops. Yeah, I remember those days. I, Jackal actually did a tour where um, they just randomly showed up in big like uh, shopping mall parking lots and stuff, and they had a flatbed trailer. 
and they had everything set up on there. So they pull up in the parking lot, jump out of the trucks, run up there. Of course, they'd announce it on like ra local radio stations and stuff, and they'd they do like a half hour set right in a parking lot. I don't even know if they had permission to be there, or not, <laughs> but they were so quick. They fly in there, jump out, they take the tarps off the truck, speakers, drum set already set up, jump out, get up there, rock out, half hour, and then take off. Yeah, just like that. So that was pretty cool. I saw them and I went and actually watched them. It happened to be at a lunchtime where I worked. So I went over at lunchtime, me and two or three guys, and watched Jackal at lunch from work. Just It was free. And yeah. Just, hey, here we are. We're in a parking lot. Come <laughs> on and see us. So that was cool. That is cool. Yeah. You don't hear that stuff anymore. No. So. Nope, that kind of stuff does not I happen I'm sure. Well, we have this. You're from do you, Boston. Do you want to talk about this really quick? Oh, yeah, Bucked Up. Do you have a link? In link there? is in the description. Now, so um, if you guys already buy it or you want to try it, um, we do. We are sponsored a little bit by Bucked Up Energy Drinks. We drink those a lot mm -hmm. anyways. And if you guys drink them anyways, you might as well. The link is in the bio. If you want to click on that, go to the store. You can go get a sampler. It comes with like a T-shirt. Yeah. Uh, I mean, four a different pre-workouts. It's like 10 bucks or something. It's 10 bucks for so a T-shirt. Four pre-workout packs or five or something like that. And then a shaker. And if you use our so, link, then we get a little credit from it. So yeah, if you want so to help us out. It's supporting us also. Yeah, if you want to support us, support the show and get a great deal. I would check that out. We're going to order one, that's for sure. I'd like to have one of them shirts. Yeah, they look Pretty comfy. cool shirt, too. Yeah. It's got that emblem, the deer. The, yep. Yeah, so check that out. Um, I've been putting the link up on my stories when I can on some of the places. So, And we have another link, too. Do you have both of them in the bio? I only Just have the one. one. for the sampler? I only okay. have the sampler one right now. So... Anyways, that's what's going on there. We got we got the plugged in there, so we're not gonna lose power. Yeah, we're good now. That's I'm good. glad I caught that. Otherwise, we would have just, just went blank. We would have just <laughs> went blank, and then we would have been like, "Oh right. shoot!" So, yeah, but we got it. Gator Tails talking about Buck Cherry. That that band, they're crazy too. Uh -huh. Yep. So, anyways, I don't know what's going. On. Anything you want to talk about? I got nothing to talk about. You got nothing. I got nothing. We got a busy weekend. We won't be able to do much this weekend, but no. Uh, I feel like every weekend's busy. Yeah, everything's busy all the time. Just you do constantly MMA busy. on Saturdays. Yeah, we're I've got... usually doing something, mm -hmm. taking care of something. We can get done on Saturday, and then Sundays um, we try to make videos and stuff. We're gonna change that and actually get into a more of a schedule. I think focus on time management and really so starting we can to get do things more down. things during the week instead yeah. of worrying about that. Right now, some days I don't know if you guys know or care. Some days, like our videos, we might make uh, twenty of them, you know, Last and time. then the next day we make three, and then the next day we'll make five. And it's just real sporadic instead of. Like getting things ready and organized and making a whole bunch at once. Yeah. Like we should do. Um, if we stay in Airbnbs, if someone invites us to those, we will have like a notebook or whatever full of content we want to make at the Airbnb. And that's really smooth because we're prepared. We made what? In two days? We 60. made like 60. Mm -hmm. 60 videos at that one. So. Yep. That was fast. And oh, yeah. We went through that quick. And that does bring up another point that I wanted to say because busy is... A guy at work that I'm friends with, he said something the other day about everything that I do. He was like, he was talking to his dad, I guess, and was saying that he doesn't even know how I do everything that I do. He's like, because I'm doing a nine to five. I do this stuff. I do, I'm starting a new company, which we can talk about more next week because I feel like I'll have it more in place next week. Yeah. And then... I do, I work out, I, family workout, time. We didn't even talk about working out. Yeah, yet. we're not done. <laughs> Workouts, I do MMA, family life, I have a girlfriend, and just balancing all that stuff. And Yeah. Pretty busy. But when when he said it, he's like, I don't even know how you do all that stuff. I'm like, what else is there to do? No. Yeah. Like, that's the thing that confuses me is like, people are like, I don't understand like not wanting to be to try to rich improve yourself or successful. Or do I I don't understand it. Maybe I'm just yeah, like I don't know. People say I'm young and arrogant sometimes, but 
A lot of people don't have that drive, you know. Yeah. They're just satisfied I just, with yeah. working. But I just, on. I don't understand, like, why, like, what else is there to do? Like, if you have two options, right? You have one, option one, which is to just, you know, you live a, I'm not saying it's a bad life, but you live a life where you, you go to work, you're nine to five, you don't necessarily like it, but you, it pays your bills, you know, you bullshit with some friends real quick, you come home, you open up your beer, or maybe you go work out, or then you watch some TV with your wife, and then you go to bed. Mm-hmm. And you repeat, and then, and then on the weekends, you know, you go and you do something to escape that. You know, some people go to the bar, they go to the club, well, they go do those things. And yeah. then once a year, or maybe once every two years, vacation. they get to go on a vacation. And then once every four years, they get a new car. And then once every seven to ten years, they get a new house. And that's just, yeah. that's it. Well, I mean, a lot of people work so I mean, hard, depending on what your job is, through the week. And then trying to manage all the things around the house at night during the week. The time Saturday comes around, you want to do things, but then you're like, I got to get more done around here. Plus you're tired, so you want you feel like you want to relax. Yeah. But you really can't because that's your Saturday. You got to get something done or take the kids to a movie or whatever you're going to do entertainment-wise. Yeah. And then Sunday you wake up with the realization that, oh, man. The weekend's almost over now. Tomorrow, I got to go back and do it again, a repeat. I, you know? Yeah, I think that people just. I mean, we spend sixty uh, percent of your life making someone else their life what they want. Right. To do. Yeah, but th- <laughs> that's like when people are saying those things to me. That's what I'm trying to say. Is like, <clears throat> I don't know. Like, I don't want to. I don't. That doesn't. I'm not you try to get interested somewhere. in that. No, I don't want to try. I'm just going to do it. There's right. nothing else to do. Yeah. Might There's nothing well. else to do. Yeah. It's like people are constantly like, you know, like people will say that life is like there's not much in to do in life, really. There's a ton to do. Well, there's so much to do. You can't do it. You can't. Right. And then people resort to saying like, well, there's not that much to do. You know, you drink your beer and you do this. And, and it's I'm like bored. Are huh? you? The people say they're bored. Yo, yeah. People are bored. I don't understand boredom. That's crazy to me. I don't know how anyone's ever bored. Yeah. That's crazy. I mean, I do Amazes get, me. I get bored sometimes because of the things I need to do. I shouldn't be bored, but I just don't maybe want to do them. That's so, unmotivated. That's right. not bored. Yeah. Boredom is not knowing what to do and just having nothing to do. Just sitting around doing yeah. nothing. Yeah. Yeah, I know. But, and, and the whole grind of, I mean, you're going to work, you're doing all that. Basically, so that someone else can live out their dream. Well, what is that quote? It's like, uh, better start working on your dream or someone will hire you to build theirs. theirs. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. And that's all it really that's is. That's all it is. Yeah. It's yeah. Somebody decided, like, you have an idea for a business and you want to be a businessman and you want to own your own company and you want to have employees. and But then you fall into the nine to five trap and you just mm-hmm. stay there and you just yeah. are working for somebody that did what you wanted to do. Right. And so you're just fulfilling their dream. And it's like, why? Why yeah. fulfill theirs and not and you're yours? you're at an age where, you know, you're young. For like, if there's older people listening, you may not be able to do that, those things. Because you did get stuck in that routine. You know? I don't believe that. I don't know. I mean, you, you Colonel so Sanders. Now, that Colonel Sanders. Now how old he was when he started KFC? No. No. 60. Yeah. 65, I think, actually. Really? So to say that, it's never too late now. Um, but I'm saying it is a little harder once you're stuck. In I think it's harder years, once you have more responsibilities. Years. I think I am blessed with having this mindset so young that I don't have the responsibilities right. of you I don't get have out a of it kid. Before it's too late. Right. I don't have I don't have kids. I mean, that well, I have even to look pay at me. I got a, I'm not in that routine. You know? What routine? I don't punch a clock. Right. You know, and I'm only 52. So I mean, you know. And we're trying to make something here. We're trying to, we've, we've got other things we want to do other than social media. You know, that's right. just kind of one of the things. But right. we do have plans to do lots of things. Um, and I don't feel like I'm too old to do that. So, no. You know. No, you're not too old. No, but like, I refuse to say anyone's too old. No. Yeah. Ever. I don't care who you are. But, and sometimes when I say things like that, people are... They say that I'm too young. I don't understand the world. Right. And it's annoying because I'm like, listen, I don't have life experience, sure, but I do understand you know the human you psyche. Go, though. Yeah. You know where you want to be. Oh, I know exactly where I want to be. And we were talking earlier, like, uh, not to mention anybody in particular, but when we first started this, everybody was all gung-ho and 
Like, yeah, that's really cool you're doing uh-huh, that. Yeah. And now no one even looks we've noticed at us the now. same people don't say anything. They don't say and why anything. Did you, why did you say that? Because As, when you first start working on your dream, people look at you and you remind them of their dreams they that they have. Do. And they feel inspired by you working on it. But when you start to pull it off, they look at you and like, they get oh, reminded of their dreams that they failed it. on. Yeah. We didn't make it. So then they start to feel envy right. and they start to feel bitter and they just get, yeah. they turn into little shit. we've seen that firsthand. We have seen it firsthand it's already. Pretty, it's pretty, and we're not even really anything no, where we're, we're going to be. No, we're still yeah. small comparatively of what's going to happen. They're talking about martial arts here. Yeah, they're talking about all kinds of martial arts. That's cool. Sometimes on lives we've had in the past you know people in the comments will just have their own little world and conversation going which is fine with us you know you can use this mm-hmm. as a time to chat with your friends or whatever i don't care gator tail said when you get older it does make a difference i think it does make a difference yeah i think that there's there's multiple things that as you get older i'd say the, the probably the number one thing and i can't speak from experience i'm young but I would think that the number one thing would be more responsibilities to well, hold like, you back. Well, uh, like he just said, uh, when you have kids. Yeah, kids. Because when you yeah. do have kids, you, you can't have take, like, and you can't take as many risks. Exactly. Like technically, right now, you. I could take a big ballsy and what's risk. What's going to happen? Really? And what yeah. would happen? I would end up You're having to go get a different. I'd job just go get a different or, job yeah. and. Or I'd go back to my job and I would just, right. you know, yeah. But when if you I had a kid that I had to pay for, right. if I had bills to pay like that, that another or, human's life was or like lot, not a car. What a lot of people run into also is they may have medical needs. Yeah. Someone at home that has medical needs, so they mm-hmm. need the insurance. Yeah. And you can't always, like with what we do here, there's nobody there's no saying, benefit. here's your insurance. Yeah. You, know, you have to take here's care of Here's your medical that. plan. So that's another issue that comes up for people is they just they don't have insurance to pay for all this medicine or you know surgeries or hospital stays stuff like that. So they have to have a job for the insurance. I know a lot of people that work just for the insurance. Yeah, they'll be like, well, you know, my wife or my husband makes good money. I wouldn't necessarily have to work, but their insurance isn't very good. Yeah, the insurance here is good, so I work so I can have this. See, insurance. that's that's something that like and that's sad. I mean. It that is does sad. happen. But, I mean, I've never looked into the, how much that's... I mean, I know that stuff can get expensive. Actually, oh, I do kind of know. Crazy because, expensive. yeah. Um, really I bad. think there was an operation, and it was $300 with insurance. That's how much it costs after the insurance kicked in. But without the insurance, it was two grand. Yeah. And it's like, that's a big difference. That's right. a... Yeah, that's a big difference. <laughs> Just made 51, but have the liver of a 17-year-old, so let's drink. What are you drinking there? Just beer? <laughs> I got some tequila, peach snops, and a little bit of cranberry juice. Probably mostly uh, tequila. So, that's what I've got here. <clears throat> but, I don't drink beer. I used to drink a lot of beer. And all it did was uh, make me really fat. And uh, <laughs> I just... I just couldn't, it, I felt so bloaty all the time. And so oh, I just beer? Yeah, I just beer can't drink beer. Like, yeah. I like the taste of it. I'd love to have a beer, but I'd rather have whiskey or yeah. tequila or something like that. i got to be careful even there because, I don't know, it's stupid. I get heartburn and everything. And yeah. It's ridiculous. But anyways, I don't know how, my liver's probably, I'm 52, my liver's probably like. Uh, 94. 50 maybe, I don't know. Oh, okay. <laughs> Maybe I know it was at 94 one time. I had a scare when we lived up in Iowa. I was drinking like a lot, a lot. Vodka and Monster Energy drinks just all night long. Um, I'd go, oh, it was crazy. But I started not feeling right, you know. Mm-hmm. Went to the doctor. He immediately sent me to an oncologist, which is a cancer doctor. I'm like, well, that's not good. <laughs> well, that's so, not good. <laughs> so I go, I, I go to this doctor, and he's checking things out. Did a bunch of tests on me, everything. Wasn't cancer, but he said your liver is having some issues. He's like, do you drink? And it was an Indian doctor too, mm-hmm. um, from India, not you know Native American. But anyway, well, I'll clarify that. <laughs> okay. Anyways, uh, so he says. Um, he says, well, you're going to have to stop slow down drinking. How much do you drink? And I said, well, I have like 
for every monster energy drink, I think I put like 10 to 12 shots. In there. <laughs> he's like, you're killing yourself. Why are you doing this? He's like, let me tell you. He's like, alcohol is poison. You should never, you shouldn't have one drink. Because I don't think they drink much in India, you know. No, I think it's, it might be a, I know. I don't there's, know the Is there a lot of, of Islams in India? I know I there's know. Hindu. Can Islamic people drink? No. Not at all? Nope. Okay. As far yeah, as I don't I'm, know, but as he's far like, as I know, uh, no. Fireball and ice. I love fireball. I had. It's funny because fireball. It's to me that's great. I love it. I can drink it straight. Oh, and then when we started doing this, I can drink it straight. I can mix it with. Uh, it's good with Dr Pepper. Anyways, um, I had so many comments when I'd be drinking fireball that that's a girl's drink. Why are you drinking that? <laughs> like, what are you talking about? This is great. Fireball yeah. is awesome. I love it. So I don't care what people say. I mean, yeah, who cares? If I cared about everything in the comments. Oh and my stuff, gosh. You'd be ones, depressed. <laughs> I mean, the ones that are like really harsh are the funniest ones. And I respond <laughs> yeah. to those because they're hilarious. I just love that. Cause to me, like if I'm on something, I'm looking, if I don't like something, I just scroll. I don't look at it. I don't watch. I don't sit yeah. there and watch a minute of something I don't like. But yeah, people do that. They watch a whole minute video and then they go, you're stupid. I didn't like. Well, that I saw all. somebody the other well, why day. Did you watch it. You, who's stupid here? You watched it. You commented on it. You helped my yeah. algorithm. Yeah, exactly. Like someone <laughs> like, the other what? day was like, you think we're going to take you serious after you missed a word in the captions? And I was like, <laughs> what? thanks for the comment, my friend. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> thanks for helping us in the algorithm. You just got us more views. I mean, if I, I, of course <laughs> I enjoy the, the positive comments or the funny comments or whatever, but the algorithm doesn't care. If it's a negative, if it says a comment's a comment, you are an asshole. I hate you. You should die. The algorithm says comment <laughs> same yeah. as, Hey, I love your stuff. You're so funny. Thank you. The algorithm doesn't care what you say. Yeah, so if no. you want to comment negative, that's fine with me. I mean, yeah. go for it. And those are the funny ones because I'm thinking how I don't, I've never, I don't, I can't think of a time when I've commented negative on somebody's thing. Unless yeah, it's I, like something really horrible. Maybe like, I did what? when I was young. Well, I might say younger something like, why stupid. are you putting all this on here? That you, This doesn't yeah. need to be on here. Something like that. But as far as saying, I don't like your stuff. You're not funny. I would just not watch it. I don't know. Watch the whole thing. Comment yeah, it's negative. funny. They're just well, I out. think it's Grant Cardone, which... Do you know who Grant is? Grant no. Cardone? No. Really? You don't know don't who he is? I think so. He's, the, he's a billionaire guy, real estate guy. He talks real... He's real brash and stuff and in your face, kind of. Mm, yeah. He's like, I've got all kinds of money. <laughs> right? He's like, I got it all. Oh, really? He's like, yeah. I got a jet. <laughs> he's like, I got all these houses everywhere. He's funny, but I listen to so his... sounds uh, like Gary Busey? <laughs> maybe, I don't know. <laughs> He reminds me. Let's of, talk about buttered sausages. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but he's he's rich. He's successful. He's yeah. a cool guy. Oh. He has a bunch of. He's wrote a crap ton of books, so I listen to those audiobooks. And what what were we talking about? How did I lose my point? That was dumb. What were we talking about? Yeah. Uh, oh, he negative said negative comments. Yeah, he said that haters will always pay more attention to you than your supporters do, mm -hmm. and that to me kind of like blows my mind still because I feel like we don't really have that yet, haters? at least. Well, we have haters, yeah, but so. we don't have people that are like there every time. And no. they're like our biggest fans are our haters. No, and you there know? was, you know, like when we were first starting, we had more like aggressive haters that were just, they'd say things like personal things like your family is horrible. Oh, stuff yeah. like that. Weird Well, stuff. I think now. And I would block them. There's just probably because... like a thing in people's mind that they see us are bigger now and they're like, well. We don't know who these people are. We don't know. Right. Yeah. Because once someone's bigger on the internet, you kind of have a different perception of them than when they're just, you know, 70 followers. But when we first started, I, I blocked probably four or five people that were just like, because every video I put up, they would just get on there and they sounded drunk all the time. And oh, I, looked, I do remember, remember that, that person. Guy? Yeah. Yeah. And I got on his profile like, yeah, this guy, I mean, the bouncers all know this guy. Right? <laughs> he's just drinking every night, hanging out at the clubs. Yeah. He's there with his buddies just scrolling because he's bored and he's just mouthing off to everybody he can. You know, that's that guy. And I'm like, I don't need to see this. And it was pers It was like really weird, like personal type stuff. Yeah. If someone wants to say stuff about me all day long, I'll just laugh about it. I don't care. Right. Call me yeah. whatever you want, say anything. That's all good. But yeah. I don't care. You know, I was just thinking more about the Grant Cardone thing is like, 
I, I, I have a desire to go on more podcast. What? <laughs> I'm just reading these. Comments oh, the comments here. here. I just, I have a desire to go on like more podcasts and meet these people and stuff. You know. Yeah. You just reading the comments over there. <laughs> they're, they're, yeah, they're talking the about a foot massage. I know. Yeah, I'm like, what are we? How do we get into this now? Heart, <laughs> uh, heartburn thing. Um, yeah, actually, I did. I've done that before, where I put some stuff under the to bring the headboard up and and kind of slant the bed. I do actually wear a um, a sleep apnea mask, which is Darth Vader. horrible. But uh, anyways, that actually got rid of most of my heartburn. It was weird because I, I don't know why that helped it. Just breathe better, keep the airways open. Somehow helps heartburn, apparently. But I really want to get off that. I hate wearing that stupid thing every night. And I'm so, I don't even know. Because when I got it, I was really heavy, you know. And I lost a bunch of weight. And I, I'm not even sure that I need it anymore. And I just haven't taken the time to go in for a sleep study yeah. now. Because that's a pain. But, um I don't think I need it anymore, but now I'm just so used to it that, like, if the power goes out or something and it stops because I don't have a battery backup thing for it, I'm just like, whoa, I can't <laughs> yeah. sleep. And then I'm paranoid to, if the power's out, so I'll go out and I'll actually sleep on the couch in the recliner there and kind of be propped up. So, I yeah. don't know. But I want to definitely get off that. I hate that being dependent on a stupid mask. It's so hot to breathe in. Then they got those other kind. They got those nose kind, but I tried that and it feels like you're suffocating yourself or something. It's really weird because I'm so yeah. used to the other mouth kind. Mouth breathing. Yeah. So. Yeah. No, I don't know. Yeah, they're talking about foot massages and stuff. What's the best foot rub you've ever had? They're kind of just talking amongst themselves yeah. there. We, um, I know that our we kind of went way off subject there, but our. Um, thumbnail picture for tonight was us as bodybuilders oh, yeah. which we're clearly not i mean we do work out we try to stay in shape but we're not anything like close to those guys no you superimposed our heads on yeah but uh out on the deck there like jay cutler and ronnie coleman but we do work out um naturally we're not gonna ever look like that or achieve yeah, that no. with what we can do. i don't even have a goal to look like that honestly no i mean that's a little it would be kind of cool to Look like that just for a while, but I I imagine it'd kind of be a nuisance, really. To oh, look, I to bet. Get that big, I, I don't know how they wipe their ass or anything, but so big. But I don't know, and I don't know if I don't know what I was going to say, but <laughs> I won't say what I was going to say. But what were you going to say? Well, I was just going to say that I don't think it's really when you get that big, you're more like freakish looking instead of. Yeah, athletic, I feel like you know. Yeah, I my goal has always been against those guys. No, I mean, I mean it, it takes a lot to get there. Oh, yeah, and, you know, you and, have and to people have that the crap. misconception that oh, someone's on steroids. They just take steroids. They don't. It's really like work yeah, out a lot of people are. look at steroids. Like they it's work just like out an easy harder pass. than the people yeah. that don't take steroids, right? Because they have that potential, and they, I mean, Rich Piana, my favorite bodybuilder, that you know passed away, obviously, but. Um, I just loved how honest he was. He'd tell you right away, yeah, I take steroids all the time. I'm, you know, don't do this. Don't, but if you're gonna, here's how to do it. You know? <laughs> yeah. He would tell you how to do it safely. Obviously he didn't know either because it didn't work out for him too yeah. well. But that guy was really honest and blunt about everything. And he would get so mad at people that say, oh, steroids, that's the easy way out. No, that guy made a career. He worked out eight hours a day. Right. And, you know, he would do like two hours of cardio and six or seven hour workouts every day. Did he ever he compete? Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah he competed. Um, he gave that up because I, I forget what the story was behind that, but he gave that up. He didn't care for competing. And I course, know he went into more of a business aspect. Yeah. And he just used his, right. what he looked like to get rich. Yeah, but when he was younger, there was a lot of videos. He mm. I think he was Mr. California and stuff. So oh, okay, gotcha. He, didn't, he never made Mr. Olympia or any of that. But, um, of course, then he got all tatted up and everything. And that's not very, he would say that his tattoos actually made him look bigger than what he was, the way that they wrap around stuff and everything. Yeah. But that guy was just massive, and he was so honest. I mean, he was kind of like in your face, rude in a way, I guess yeah. you'd say, really brash. But I liked yeah. how he came off because most of your professional bodybuilders will deny 
taking anything. It's like, come on, really? Yeah, or like actors in like, Hollywood and yeah. stuff like that. Oh, yeah. I mean, even people like, you know, Mark Wahlberg, he took steroids for a movie. I and... saw a funny, <laughs> hilarious clip of him that was embarrassing for him. For him? Or it had to be. I don't know if he felt embarrassed, but he was on, what is that show? Ellen. He was on Ellen. Mm -hmm. And she was talking to him about working out and stuff. And she's like, so you can do pull-ups. How many can you do? And he's like, he's like, probably like 40. Mm -hmm. 40. She's like, 40. He's like, strict, strict, strict. That's strict ones. You know, you could I could probably do Did more. Did she bring out a bar? And <laughs> they brought out a bar. And he goes over there to do pull-ups. And he's just, he's like flopping like a fish. He's not doing even oh, pull-ups. Really? He wasn't, you know, pull-up. No, he wasn't even going above the bar. You know, if the bar's here, you go above it and you go mm. like that. That's a pull up. Right. He was going. Really? Yeah, it was hilarious. Was flopping around, huh? It was hilarious. Yeah. I know that he, Little you know, nerd. a lot of celebrities will bulk up and go, they take things and stuff to get big really quick for a movie. Mm -hmm. And then when you see them, like, when they're off film and they're just regular lives. They're, they're tiny. They're tiny. They Who is pathetic. that that gets really big for movies and then shrinks? Well, Chris Helms gets pretty big. Yeah, but he sh Wahlberg does he shrink down? Big. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Big yeah, time. it's crazy. Saw him. Uh, of course, he's uh, Australian. And I saw, yeah. I saw a video of him and just, he wasn't doing any movies or anything. He's tiny, you know. He's a dork. Yeah. Nerd. But uh, like even um, uh, Deadpool, you know. Ryan Reynolds. Ryan Reynolds. Yeah, he doesn't. He's not. He doesn't big all never the time. get super big. No, he he's in really decent ripped, shape all the time. You know? yeah. Like in Dead, the first Deadpool, he was like super ripped. I think but, they said he was like four. percent But if you stood next to him, he would have been small. I mean. Oh yeah. And look at him now. He's more involved with like the soccer stuff and everything. He owns part of a team, and mm -hmm. but he's not a very like Mark Wahlberg. I mean, is not normally very big at all. No. He's small. Yeah, he's a small. He's in good guy. shape. Yeah. But My goal has always been to be big, muscle, muscular, but also able to run a marathon or something like that. Mm, I want to be able to do things. Than, yeah. yeah, I want to be athletic. Functional. I don't want to just be a muscle man. Right. I mean, yeah, I want to be muscular, but yeah, to make that your priority, just, uh, I don't know. We were also going to talk about college. We haven't even made it to college. That's in our title. Neither one of us made it to college. No, I ain't going to college. I don't plan to. No. Nope. I ain't ever going there. You mean talking about it. Talking about how stupid. I think it's really dumb. I think a trade school is awesome. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, in college, college is good if you're going doctor, to be a doctor, a, a lawyer, lawyer, attorney, something like that. Yeah. That's obvious. Duh. But, like, but if it, you are going there. I'm, going, like, I'm studying. I'm majoring in sports science. You know? Yeah, it's a lot of them do something like that. Just Well, and another thing is, like, <clears throat> business school. Okay. Like, think this through, right? In business school, you have a professor, and that professor doesn't own a business, mm -hmm. has never ran a business, yeah, he tell you? and drives a little shitbox. Right. If he He's knew what broke. he was talking about, he would have used his knowledge <laughs> yeah. and be rich and have a business. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You know? Like, if he really knew everything he was teaching you was beneficial, he'd be like, what am I doing here making 65000 a year? Why don't I just go make half a million a year on my own business right. if I know how to do it all. Yeah. It's like, cause you don't. At colleges and it's like, pathetic. okay, so you're going to spend business school is like two years, right? Two to four years. Right. So you're going to go spend, let's just say two, you're going to go spend two years listening to a learning. Guy. Okay. So anyone that's done anything ever, like you can compare it to like, okay, let's see, uh, drums playing the drums. Mm. So when you go to learn how to play drums, don't you want somebody that knows how to play the no, drums? No, 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 not even just that. <laughs> but do you sit there and just get a book and someone's like, yeah, so you hit this one and this is how you read the notes. Or do you get on a darn drum set, drum set mm -hmm. and you practice right. and then you mess up and you go, shoot, that wasn't good. Okay, I'll do you this. You always want someone telling you what to do. Well, I'm not even talking about do. having a professor necessarily. I'm just talking about like if you're on your own and you're just... You're doing stuff, right? You want to learn through experience. Humans learn through experience, not through just oh, knowledge. Yeah, I'm a total hands-on person. Exactly. So isn't it the same thing for business? Like, don't you want to get into business and fail? Because I guarantee anybody at the point you where... You have to fail to learn. Exactly. Think about somebody that... Okay, this is technically a business. Our content is technically a business. Right. Technically. Think of somebody that started business school at the same time we started our business. 
Yeah. They're still in school. Right. They ain't making any money. Right. We are. Yeah. And think by the time they well, get out, like then I they said, have to start and they have to get that experience. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure business school is beneficial a little bit. I'm sure you're going to learn a little bit, but you are going to learn an infinite amount more if you just do it. Yeah. And you like, oh, yeah. my biggest thing now is I want to start talking to people that have done it. I want to talk to people in person because, you know, I listen to these people on the internet and audiobooks and podcasts and stuff like that. You listen to those people and that's good. But to have somebody right in front of you that's done a business before and they're a millionaire or billionaire mm -hmm. is just so valuable because they have those lessons. They know how to do things. Right. And just to have a conversation with people like that would be so valuable. Yeah, you never want anyone in any aspect of life telling you how to do something if they can't do it. Right, you don't want to adopt the like, thinking of somebody that can't do I mean, a good do example back to, to the do. working out. Um, when I was uh, oh my gosh, 18 I or 19... Going. I went to Gold's Gym to work out, right? Yeah. And part of the membership was a free trainer for like a week or two, whatever. Yeah, yeah. So I'm like, that's cool. So who comes out? I mean, I was fair. I had been working at home. So yeah. I had a little bit, of, you know, of muscle. I had already gained. I was in pretty good shape and everything. Right. So some little scrawny guy <laughs> comes out. He's like, all right, I'm your trainer. I'm like, no, you're not. <laughs> I said, uh, so I went, uh, he's like, no, I'm your trainer. I'm going to hang out with you. I'm going to show you some things. I'm like, you don't know any. I just said, oh, why don't I train you? <laughs> yeah. I actually said, I said, I could train you. And he got really offended with that. But I was twice as big as him already. Right. And he's going to train me yeah. how to do this. Who's going to even. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So I just said, no. I said, I'm not interested. And they kind of threw a fit, even at like the front desk. Well, you, that's part of the deal. You get a trainer. He's. He's learning too. He's oh, they like, were just trying to defend his ego. Yeah, so I'm like, well, then I'm not even. I want to just not even come here. Then I guess. Yeah. Well, so I got out of it. I but I had to fight them to get out of this little that's, guy trying to show me what to do. <laughs> but I mean, that's, that's hilarious. Good, what was he going to show me? I feel like you see that a lot of places. Like oh, we've yeah. been places where the personal trainer is like, yeah, really, really, yeah, yeah. really, yeah. That's the personal trainer. Yeah, exactly. Like yeah. I've seen personal trainers that oh, yeah. they I look went like to personal trainers gym before, and the personal trainer was like, okay, damn, he's a personal trainer. <laughs> yeah, he's, like he knows what he's doing. He did it, obviously. He's got it down. But then that guy come out. I'm like, what? No, <laughs> yeah. you are not training me. Yeah. See, yep. I mean, I felt like I would have got hurt or something, but whatever. <laughs> Total gym, yeah. We're trying to build our gym here we're at home on because uh, we're kind of in the middle of nowhere. So we got quite a drive if we want to go to a gym. He's in another town quite a bit where it's handy for him, but I am not. So <laughs> I've got a 45 minute drive just to go to a gym. Yeah. No matter which way I go. So um, I'm trying to get stuff here, which really it's kind of good and bad because stuff here, I don't have to go anywhere, but you do get more motivated in a gym atmosphere with other people working out, you know, M yeah. myself, I do anyways, just seeing the other people here in the weights, just the whole atmosphere kind of motivates you. Yeah. And plus the other thing that I notice is when I'm here trying to work out, I have a plan in mind what I'm going to do, but then I get really distracted. I yeah. mean, I got other things here I could tinker around with or something. I, oh, well I need to run in and do this. And I, and so it breaks up my workout when I'm at yeah. the gym. I just work out. That's what there is. So it's easier to stay on track, I think. Yeah. But, yeah. So. I, I can see that. But also, it's like, just do it. Right. <laughs> I'm, I'm getting better at that. And it's like, would you rather... I don't want that drive. I mean, that's like, yeah. Do you need that drive right. just for the motivation? Right. No. You can make the motivation. Or if you don't have motivation, yeah. who cares? Just discipline your way through it. Right. Just do it. So. So. <laughs> I keep it at home so you don't fart in front of the pretty girls. <laughs> I know leg press is notorious for that. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I've been in One there before. <laughs> and oh. I don't have my headphones cranked yeah, up. So you can't even tell but how loud it is. I know that I farted. I'm, and then I look around like, hmm. What if that was, how loud like... was that? I wonder. I know I had one that echoed. See, yeah. I know I did. And it's pretty. Nobody really cares. Yeah, and everyone's I mean, like, it's care. leg press. On leg press, it's hard. If you gotta, if you need to let one go, it's gonna. Go. <laughs> yeah, on especially when you're doing heavy weights. Or squats stuff. is another one. I mean, oh yeah, you can kind of control things the other on the, some of the other stuff, but <laughs> not so much on that. So, 
Yeah. <laughs> Anyways. Anyways. I think that's about all I got for tonight's that's all I've show got too, for yeah. the program. Um, we should talk. Uh, we should talk sometime about like comedies um, today versus like the old school stuff. I know that today we oh just my gosh. we just finished watching um, Everybody Loves Raymond. Yeah. We actually, start. Of course, I've seen it before back in the day, yeah, yeah. probably several times, all of them. But we, when we sit down to have dinner as a family or whatever, we try to watch a comedy, something, you know, that's not like depressing or too, like you got to really, you can just kind of relax. It's there. You can still talk over it if you want. But we watched, um, we watched Everybody Loves Raymond and we just got to the end of that. So it's like now, and we, we had watched Frasier prior to that, Mm -hmm. the whole thing all the way through and. Now I think we're going to go to King of Queens. That's oh, another, yeah. It's similar to Raymond and stuff. Yep. It's back in the day. There's nothing political or controversial in it. It's just pretty just like family, relatable comedy. You know, and I think that I would love to see a show like that. Brought back. And we've actually talked about doing something like that. Well, and there yeah. is kind of, I feel like there is a growing There's a market demand for, that. for that, honestly. People don't want all this crap pushed down their throat all the time, I don't think. I think they want, yeah. news organizations want us to think that that's what people want to see, but I really think that there I is think a there is, place for that. Yeah, I think that there Something is, whether crazy. it is the majority or the minority of amount of people that are tired of it or not, Some, but there's still there is a market for a that. show like that I nowadays. Definitely yeah. Think that, yeah. Yeah. So are we the show? Are we going to do we're the, gonna be the show, sitcom? I yep. I think so. Well, I think we should wrap it up. So. All right. Yeah. Thanks for watching. Next Thursday, we'll be back on 8 o'clock. We're going to try Central to do time. every Thursday at 8. We just are going to do unless every Thursday. Something unless, crazy, unless we say crazy something. crazy happens. So, anyways, uh, thanks a lot for watching, and we will see you later. Good night. Good night, folks.